Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial Ramses Admin 102. In today's video, I will show you how to set up dynamic DNS with loud flare on Opsins. And the link for the Rington tutorial is going to be down in the descriptions. At the end of the video, if you think the tutorial is helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And let's get started. So, first thing we're going to need to install the uh, DD client. So in order to do that, you have to uh, system and firmware and plugins. Then you're gonna search for DDC. All right. Now you got the DD DD client. We're gonna install that one. All right and we're going to refresh it okay now i'm going to go uh, to services and under dynamic dns under setting you would select add a new account so under the description you can uh, name it whatever you like however for the tutorial we can use cloudflare and for the service we're going to select Cloudflare at the service username you're gonna skip it you're gonna leave it blank and the password this is gonna be a API token which I'm gonna show you how to uh, generate one uh, the zone this is gonna be your domain name so mine is gonna be sysadmin102.org and the host name gonna be uh, ddns.sysadmin102.org I will show you how to create a, a, a record as well, and that's going to be your host name. Check IP. We're going to use the uh, IP for only.me, and the interface is going to be WAN or WAN. All right, and let's go generate, uh, create our A record and generate the API token. So, from your Loudflare uh, overview or website you can select uh, whichever side that you want to set up the a record and then from the overview you can select dns and you would add a new record i'm going to call it uh, ddns and ipv4 i'm going to use the ryback ipv4 for now um, when it pushing the public ip address to this a record it's going to reflect the public uh, IP address and we're gonna uncheck the Rossi and that's it yeah. API tokens I'm gonna go back to overview you're gonna scroll down to the bottom and you're gonna select uh, get or your API token and we're gonna read a, a token and we're gonna use the uh, edit zone DNS templates and we're gonna change the name to DDNS for option. All right, and uh, zone resources. If you have multiple zone, it's gonna specify just for it to able to access that zone only. So that's where you isolate it to specific zone, not like the whole thing. All right, and continue to summary. And we're gonna create a token. All right. Uh, Keep in mind, for security reason, uh, this token will not be shown again. So make sure you copy it and keep it in a text file or whatnot. Uh, in this case, we already have it uh, open. So I'm going to copy the token and put it in the password. And all right, I'm going to save it. And don't forget to hit apply. OK. It, it didn't really show the current IP or the status, whether it, uh, what the last time it updated. However, it's still working. You can confirm this by uh, going to the log file. And as you see, it says successfully uh, updating the DDNS to the IPv4 address. And as well, if you go to the DNS on your uh, Loudflare, it should reflect your DDNS with the public IP address of your uh, 
internet and that concluded uh, today tutorial uh, again if you think the tutorial is helpful don't forget to subscribe like and share for more video uh, thank you for all the support from my uh, return subscriber and i'll see you guys in the next video